warm welcome to all of you from the venue for the Europa League final, St. Jakob Park in Basel, Switzerland. And here we have Boca Juniors against CSKA Moscow. This is Peter Drury, and next to me providing insights will be Jim Beglin. Thanks for that, Peter, and may I say a big hello to everyone. Tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? I'm going to go for the experienced Igor Akinfeyev. He's always been an agile stopper, but having been on the scene from, from such a young age, he's a much calmer decision maker these days. I'm thinking the same. He will be a central feature, no doubt. Fernando Gago tried to play it through. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Speculative strike. It's anyone's ball. That's a good block, but at the expense of a corner. Danger averted for now. for a throw in has a look and has a go and that will sail harmlessly past that's a pretty powerful effort because he really got hold of that one but he's not going to trouble the keeper from there What's next? Nothing wrong with that tackle. Ball won cleanly. Jagoev. Eremenko. Good challenge. He just stood firm. Tevez. Now the pass. Clears it out of harm's way. minutes till half time goes long Tevez and the header oh just needed a better contact yeah they had lots of options in the box there they've got plenty to chew on at the moment but no bite Jagoev. Spoon forward. Tevez. Tevez for the shot. And out to safety. Russia 
Nice little by way of goal mouth action yet. Well, needless to say, he was expecting a better ball than that. Jagoyev. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. All the way back and they start again. Lotero. Looks like a good ball through. Played in deep. It's well blocked and back out it comes. There is the half-time whistle. So there was the first half. Boca Juniors ended that first half in such a strong fashion. I think we'll just have to wait and see now if they can rekindle that drive and that determination. It's been great commitment. And that nil here at half-time. but in the end it's fruitless. Looks to thread it through. Lotero looking to get on the end of this. It's a bit promising but eventually thwarted without doing any harm. Now, Otero, 
Schultz. Schultz. Jemayev is the route one option. 90 minutes are up, 30 more to come. Well, nil-nil doesn't offer a fair reflection of what we've seen. The game's been vibrant. I think the atmosphere has remained buoyant and we just need the scoreline to step into life.